How's it going everybody, Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I want to talk about V-Star Universe, the set that has been released about a month ago, and specifically I want to talk about the prices of this set. For that reason I have a few links up here that we're going to be taking a look at in this video, but without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first link we're going to be taking a look at, or the first two links, are going to be Card Rush. I have a web archive page, which is basically from December 1st. And I have the current prices. This is from basically today. And I do also have a an auto translate running and a uh, what we call currency converter, so I can see the euro prices and don't have to be like calculating in my head what the prices from yen to euro would be. So without further ado, let's see. So December first. This was basically when the set was completely new, and as is always the case. Uh, when the set is completely new, the prices are going to be crazy. Um, let's try to find for this one the current leader, Irida, which was at the time was 320 euros. And just one month later, it's 170. This is for, I presume, an, an S rank, and this is an A minus. The, the difference isn't that noticeable, but. This is almost a 50% drop in price, which is insane. I mean, the card is still pretty expensive, don't get me wrong. But that drop is significantly, and but it's always the same for, for these kinds of sets. So the other one that is currently um, leading at the, at the most expensive one is the um, Elisa, Elisa Sparkle, which is uh, currently for 130 euros for an S rank. I'm presuming, so let's see if we can find it here. That was 210 when V-Star Universe is or was released. So that's also like what a 40% drop or something like that? On the on the top of my head, if my math is correct. So the cards are getting are getting really uh, really really cheap and they will continue to drop. Like, I, you can be sure of that. These cards will continue to drop. Uh, one one really interesting thing. Um, is currently the Giratina V-Star Ultra Ray, you know, the one that I pulled in, in one of my openings, which at the time when I pulled it was 250. Let's just check card market over here, which is where I basically buy all my cards. So that right now, I do know that right here you can see um, the 3rd of December, or like the 10th of December, 249.99. I know that because I... Sold it? No, I, I didn't sell it for that price. I wanted to sell it. Unfortunately, it got lost in the mail and was like lost for two weeks. But I do have it back now, thankfully. Thankfully, I have it back now. It actually made it back to me in perfect shape. And then I thought like that it must have been fate. I'll, I'll keep the card. So yeah, so I did sell it for 250 or try to. And ended up refunding the, the buyer the money and keeping the card. And right now it's it's 170, which is still crazy. I mean, this guy is from Japan, so you might have to pay um, import taxes. So let's just take this seller from Spain, for example. That's 190, 190 for this card. So in on Card Rush, it's actually um, way cheaper than on Card Market, and this is this is the case for certain cards, not all of them. For example, the Irida, as you can see here on Card Market from a German seller is 165, whereas on on Card Rush it's 170, but you have to keep in mind if you buy it from Card Rush, you have to pay for um, for additional shipping, which might be kind of expensive, and you have to pay to pay tax, if I recall correctly. Even though it does say tax included, if you order it, like for me, if I ordered it to Germany, and it comes from Japan, I will most likely have to pay tax anyways. So that's not really a an alternative for me. And um, the other card is this Pikachu. You know, this Pikachu that you can only pull from the from the so-called God Pack. Let's see if we can find it here on the on the web archive page. So we have a Pikachu here. So this was 71 euros when it first released. So when the set first came out, it was 71 euros. Now it actually climbed up to 120, which is insane. So this actually is one of the fewer cards that actually gained, gained value. But this is like the odd one out, I mean, specifically this is for the odd one out because you can only get this Pikachu in a God Pack. So this is the main reason why this card maybe gained some, um, gained some traction. We can actually search it on, 
on card market as well. Right here, this is the Pikachu. Um, Indonesian. This is the full AR set for 400. The single card is gonna run you for about 200 on card market, but there are sets being sold for 400. You'd have to calculate if that actually adds up to all the single cards or not. But yeah, um, the booster box itself, though, if we take a look at the booster box, this the booster box is not available for MSRP. Like, it is still being sold, at least on card market, for 100. You have no shot on even finding it on um, on card rush for MSRP. Okay, so after searching, I wasn't sure myself, but I ended up being correct. You can't even find um, V-Star Universe boxes, unopened boxes on, on card rush. Not even in the sold out category, like nowhere. You can find VMAX Climax, which I might talk about um, towards the end of the video. But yeah, you can't, you can't even find V-Star Universe uh, sealed boxes, so the boxes it's, itself are still very expensive. But I have a feeling they will go down. <laughs> okay, so let's move it on to the, to the Twitter links. Um, for the sake of comparison, I've uh, removed the um, currency converter for this one, you're gonna see it in a second. So we have um, Dragon Store Kyoto, which is, as an name is a card store in Kyoto, Japan. And these are prices they're currently selling selling these cards for from Vistar Universe. So we have the Arceus for, let's just say, 10,000 yen, if you compare it with Card Rush for the Arceus. So that's a bit cheaper. Um, 10,000 yen in euros is about 71 euros, so I would guess about 70 dollars. So this is actually a pretty good price. You can already tell that these card stores, like these in-person card stores, if you will, um, already offering lower prices than what you're seeing online. And this will only continue, like these prices will continue to drop as more V-Star Universe gets available, as more boxes get printed, so on and so forth. And um, let's just compare that to um, to the card market price, because I'm actually curious. I don't know how much of this, okay, so this is 130, 135 euros. So this is actually like almost half the price from, from what we have in, in Europe. So... This might be a great alternative if you have a way to get cards from there or something like that. It's always uh, always good to compare, you know, between card market and card rush. But anyways, we have the um, we have another Twitter link here. We have a few Twitter links. Close the add-on manager. So these are buy prices. This is actually a tweet from um, about three days ago. So these are buy prices. These are the prices they are buying the cards for. And we can see here, they're buying the um, the Giratina V-Star for 11,000 yen, which is about 78 euros, like 75 dollars, something like that. So that's actually pretty cheap, and, and then uh, they're selling them for only 770 more. This is like just two days later, this post. So this is actually, this is actually pretty interesting. You can already see, like, they're not... They're not earning much from, from these buy prices, so I'm assuming these buy prices will continue to drop, and then in turn, the the sell prices will also drop for V-Star Universe, which is the point of this video. Um, the Irida, they are, uh, they are buying they're buying that card for 22,000 yen, which is about 155 euros. And then you have the Alasis Sparkle, which is 15,000 yen, and all these other cards from like different sets. You have VMAX Climax, like these three, you have Shiny Star V, the Marnie, you have um, Candice from Paradigm Trigger, and all these other cards, but those don't interest us. We're only here for the for the V-Star Universe. See, no, there's nothing on here as well. So only three cards that really interest us are these three. Already dropping in price, 22,000, that's what they're buying them for. If we go back to the Irida right here, 320 euros, which was at the start of V-Star Universe, 45,000 yen was the sale price back then. And that's just like a month later and the, the buying price is already less than half that. So that's insane. We have another link here, which is which only features one Pokemon that, that interests us, which is this one. The Mewtwo, which is actually the one that... I pulled from one of my openings as well, which I'm really happy about. Um, they're selling this for 3,500 yen, dude. This is a 25 euro card and it will continue to drop. And that's insane for such a such an amazing artwork. Just 3,500 yen. Let's just compare that real quick to the, to the card rush prices. 
Ah, yes, there it is. So on card market, or not card market, on card rush, it's 4,000 yen. So that's like uh, 28 euros. Whereas on card market, which I'm actually curious about, I'm guessing it might be more expensive yet. So it's 55. Oh, yeah, 55 euros. Let's just say 55 for that card. So if you do want some cards, maybe card, card rush is uh, your better bet. If you're thinking about buying them in Corp Market. But anyways, that was the, the other page. And then we have one last here, which is also V-Star Universe prices. We have, of course, the boss's orders and both the Mews. Really, really cheap. Like, these are incredibly cheap. 600 yen, that's 4 euros. This is a 4 euro card over in Japan. And I do know for a fact that this one is more expensive over here in Europe. The Mew, uh, the Mew art rare is a 15 euro card in, in Europe, which is insane. Like the card, the, the drops in card prices are here, you can definitely sense them over in Europe, but they're not on the level that they are in Japan right now, because this is incredibly cheap for a card that is this cool. And I'm not, on, I'm not only saying this because Mew is one of my favorites, but this is, this is insane, this is such a low price. And if they are that cheap, I would definitely pick up a, a few copies. But other than that, you have the, the boss's orders for 800 yen. So that's like, what, like 8? That's like 5 euro 60. And then, of course, you have the Elisa Sparkle once again. This is an A rank. Um, okay, in case you didn't know, um, the cards aren't ranked like as, as near mint or something like that in Japan. They usually rank them like S+. Plus. S+, plus is basically the best, the best rank you can get. You can almost... Certain, I don't want to say certainly guarantee that this would be a PSA 10, but you have a very, very good chance that this might be a PSA 10 with an S plus rank. And these are all S ranks, so these are like basically almost as good as they can get. It's not like they're selling you like damage card for that price. No, these are these are like in really great condition. So basically, what I'm saying is the prices in Japan for Vista Universe are dropping considerably. Um, faster than than in Europe or the US, for example, but it's only a matter of time until until these lower prices reach us as well. Vista Universe is still being printed, and it will continue to be printed until it's actually available for MSRP, similar to what VMAX Climax was back back in the day. I want to say almost two years now ago. And other than that, that was my kind of informative video, I hope it was informative at least, over the, or about the V-Store Universe prices. Um, if you did enjoy it, if you did find it helpful, then give it a like, consider subscribing if you really loved the content, and stay tuned for more, uh, for more awesome content in the future. Thank you so much for watching, peace, peace.